Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing. 6'10, 6'11. He was humongous. When guy we was were that? Grade 10. When we were grade 10, he was a senior, so he was in grade 12. And he w would sometimes <laughs> wear a shirt that's been like, yes, I'm 6'11. Like, because people ask. And, like, if I saw him in the woods, I'd be like, 10 feet tall. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a giant. 10 feet tall, bitch. Sasquatch. <laughs> ten, 10 feet. Like, he was so. Like unbelievable. Biclops. It's a biclops. Right? Oh god. <laughs> Run for your lives. It's the biclops. He has depth perception. Now <laughs> we're doomed. Yeah. All right, people. Here's a new one. Send us your best biclops <laughs> sightings. <laughs> They're out there, man. You just gotta be looking. Just gotta look hard. <laughs> uh so yeah, you had the, you have these two beings emerging from the craft and they had these these gold discs which uh, which when on closer inspection by some of these kids that they when when they were interviewed they talked about how that these these discs i'm pretty sure like these ones they had a symbol inscribed on them which matched one that was on the craft as well oh so like it's like, like they're branded the same i told you it's a fucking i said logo what well, it's like you know it's like it's a military these, thing yeah, They're military sponsor. thing or like any, Spon literally any. It's a sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> this this trip's been fucking sponsored. Well, and, you know what? The, Dan, who is the sponsor? <laughs> the movie. When, when I looked at it, I was like, <laughs> at first I was like, when, when I went back and looked at it, I was like, that is, if you, if you pull up Voronesh and you pull up, uh, you know, you look at the title of the podcast, you type in Voronesh and you type in symbol, this, will, this symbol thing will pop up. Uh, when I looked at it and I thought about it for a while and I just, uh, I was like, that's the Maserati symbol. <laughs> no, I think it's pretty simple. If you think about who sponsors most of our sports teams and anything like that, it's always some type of finance company. And if you think about it, a intergalactic voyage would be quite expensive. So I'm True. saying this yeah, is some type of intergalactic spices, bank. Man, they're out here looking for space spices. Just yeah, like are we talking we about this? Are we talking <laughs> about the symbol that that they saw on the belt, like in the illustration? Yeah. Yes. Because. I'm telling right now that is the Umo symbol. So I came across Without that too, but I didn't know much about it. That was from another sighting, right? Yeah. So the well, no, it's it's from a game. It's from the evil fucking aliens in Space Bomber. It's a Japanese game. I can send you a link to it if you want. Uh, I'm yeah. pretty sure that those game the Jap they based that they based that game on actual sighting, and the guy's name was Antonio Ribeiro, and he said these. From Planet Umo, it was he wrote, wrote, wrote a book, and the sun was Wolf 424, like a binary star. And he claimed that this was a very similar symbol of that in his sighting encountered. Yeah, the first time it popped up was in 1947. That's... Oh, okay. So maybe this well, guy still... It popped up in 1947 where? I'm just reading through it right now. So with this, uh, yeah, with with this simple, it's like uh, just to describe it, it's pretty much like it, it is three. It's three lines, like two, one in the middle, and then two on the sides, which are kind of like cur a crescenting in each yeah. into the back. And then there's like another. There's another one. Usually, there's another line bisecting those three lines. Um, there's also it, like a lot of people say this symbol looks like another symbol, and that's the symbol for Uranus. Yes. And, the one that we use. It is similar, I, at least to the descriptions and, that we have. Yes, it is similar. I'm going to say right now, if a spaceship lands and everyone's wearing symbols of Uranus, you're in for a bad time. You know, you know they're looking for butt stuff is what you're saying. Yeah, oh, 100%. Uh, everyone in this audience is about to get probed. That's what's happening here. That's why they're strutting out. They got the Easy Bake Oven ready. They're, they're like, all right, line them up. Listen, right, they, that's what's happening. They get out. They come up down the slow ramp with the smoke. They grab a little dirt. Grab a little grass, you know. That's a, a, other type of organic samples. And then what's next? Yeah, they're, they're you, gonna get you the baby, you're organic. you're up next. <laughs> you're the next sample. Well, there's a one person's description of him. He's like he starts to get all these objects, like spherical objects, and then like 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 triangle shaped objects and different objects. I'm like, those are the probes. He's trying to figure out which one fits in you. That's what he's doing. He's lining them up. He's looking up. Like, what do you think this one? What do you think these ones use? Okay. Well, what, uh, let's circle back to Umo. You, you find anything there, Andrew? So based off the Japanese game, video game, similar symbol. You said yeah. forty. You said forty-seven. Yeah, that was just taking me back into a little 
fucking write up on Roswell, which I don't think there's any linking Umo to Roswell. So I don't think there's giving us a background. Games and <laughs> well, they did. Yeah. They did find those symbols at Roswell, supposedly. Oh, okay. There you go. Then that's that, where the symbol. That looked like they're kind of. They kind of look like Russian, Russian characters in a way a little bit. Or some people say it hieroglyphs. Well, right. the other, and then the, other the thing we goal failed... of the Umo aliens was to fulfill the project Noah's Ark, a scheme involving massive extraction of DNA genes from the Earth's various life forms. Ah. Okay, well that's, that's good. You, you know you could say that episode based of on some of the accounts. <laughs> the other the other thing though, the other thing that I was thinking about, I completely forgot. As nice, I <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> you know what else? Yeah. You know what else it kind of looks like? It kind of looks like like a fucking like a, a, a five-speed manual transmission like the symbol like yeah like yeah it's like the maserati. grid yeah it looks like the fucking grid <laughs> maserati is an intergalactic brand yeah maybe i don't know it looks just like it though it does yeah i don't you mean like the, the diagram of the gears yeah like first second third yep. fourth fifth and then reverse so it's got it's got a lot of uh, similarities to a lot of stuff on earth already it so. is a luxury sports ufo no, only the best companies they make do, UFOs. They are sponsored. You know? Maybe this is just like a space race, and they fucking land on Earth by accident. Space it's like Amazing Race. But yeah. <laughs> For amazing your next destination race? is... Yeah. Well, Russia. <laughs> yeah, Russia. <laughs> Good luck. So so maybe maybe it was, because apparently apparently the one of the, the creatures uttered something like they made some type of they made some type of vocal noise, some kind of audible noise. Ack. And then something ack, like ack. that ack, gonk, ack. Gonk. and then uh what appeared apparently was like a luminous rectangle appeared on the ground it was about uh described to be about like two and a half feet by four feet and it just and then they uh, uh, adjusted some controls on the robot's chest the, the small the gonk droid and then that caused it to actually walk forward on its two feet that it had um so maybe just, like this... so they addressed it the fucking little guy if yeah. they were, or they were talking they to just the ship or It's like they just fucking cranked them up so they could walk. Like a yeah, mind winding them up. <laughs> twisting them up. It's just a big twist toy. Hey, get the gears going. Hey, you guys impressed? Look at that. <laughs> like, maybe this is just like, he's like a busker. No, they're fucking, what's the, a gear, it's gear people. It's part uh, of the gear, gear wars. wars. Yeah, part yeah, of the gear, gear wars. wars. Yeah. Right? Gear Volio clogs work or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> something like that, actually. Yeah. But like uh, all these people are just standing here, like just dumbfounded at this. This giant spheres well, come out. I, these three. You, are we even sure that they're worried? Like they're probably just like, oh man, this is the, the fifth shittiest thing to happen. To Another us. day. Yeah, they're all. They're all probably like, please take my son, save him. <laughs> yeah. From, yeah. From from the report. Take my child. Like, he's strong like bull. Yeah. No. No. Not his child. My child. My child. Stronger. They're all throwing their kids forward. Take him, please. Um. For just five cents a day, you can. <laughs> Uh, from from the article, you had the you had the two pri the two boys uh, who were staring there, dumbfounded by this entire thing. But apparently, there was also an older boy, like a sixteen year old boy, is what the the article mentions. And this boy, uh, apparently, he was a bit closer than the other two, and he panicked. And in his panic, he let out uh, an audible cry, a scream, right? As oh, these, so like these a normal creatures. response. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah <laughs> as yeah. they started okay. moving, yeah. like as they started moving. And then. I thought the, for, the, for sure you were going to say he peed his pants. <laughs> yeah. And the strange thing I is. He's a little is bit just talking about it. And the strange thing is that these, these creatures almost seem to notice these mm. kids standing here for the first time. It's like it, w their, the reactions are kind of de described as them just kind of looking up and then kind of observing that the kids are there and it's like they hadn't even noticed them uh, until now until they actually made some sort of sound i wonder if they thought maybe they had some type of like cloaking device or like camo you know like they thought maybe they were under the flying under the radar and nobody could notice them, right? <laughs> they got like, that well, they like, what they can like, see us <laughs> they <laughs> calibrated it wrong yeah they just <laughs> scream right back Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah and and this so this prompted the apparently one of the beans to turn its attention towards the the boy who made the noise who cried out and they described it as its eye the one eye i guess like the whatever that the, this object the sphere the circle that yeah, i guess the was red their gaze. eye it's the gaze right. of sauron basically and it started to glow like it started to glow Ooh, uh it's terrifying 
<laughs> and then after it glowed, the alien, the, the two aliens, the robot, and the UFO vanished. They just gone. What? What do you mean vanished? They just vanished. Disappeared. They're just gone. Disappeared. Camouflage? Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.